Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. Uh, and in this video, we'll be solving this data sufficiency question. Uh, so it looks like it's a coordinate geometry question. So let's see what does the question stem uh, has in for us. So it says that a rectangle is plotted on a standard coordinate plane. So we have a standard coordinate plane looking something like this, right? So that's what we have, uh, a standard coordinate plane with 0, 0 as the origin, and this is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so it says that the rectangle has its vertices at the origin, so which is this, this point right here is the origin, and at 0, 6. So you have one of the origin here, uh, let's call it 0 and 6, so x is 0, sorry, uh, x is 0 and y is 6, so it has here. So let me just draw a bigger diagram, so it looks something like this. So you have one of the vertices at the origin, which is here, 0, 0, and other at 0 and 6, where x is, where, uh, uh, where other vertices is at 0 and 6, so that means it's here. Uh, so it's x is 0, but y is 6. If coordinates of all vertices are non-negative integers, so that means, uh, that means that all other vertices are non-negative integers. So what are non-negative integers? So non-negative integers are something which are greater than zero, uh, but they are integers, right? Uh, so that means uh, the rectangle cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here, because then here uh, uh, in, this, in this quadrant, x would be negative, in this quadrant, both will be negative and in this quadrant y will be negative. So it has to be in this quadrant, that is the first quadrant. And let's let's just draw the, the rectangle like this. So since it's a rectangle, uh, so since it's a rectangle, which means that the side is going to be 6, and let's assume the value of x to be x, and here uh, the value of x is going to be x, uh, but y is going to be 0. So this is the rectangle that we have. So now the question is asking, what are the coordinates of the other two vertices? So basically the question is asking us the value of x. Okay, moving on. What does statement one tell us? So statement one tells us that the distance between the origin and one of the vertices is 10. So I'm just going to uh, use the same diagram. So it says the distance between uh, the origin, which is 0, 0, and one of the vertices is 10. So uh, there are two possible kinds of distances, right? So you have, uh, so this is x and 0, and this is x and 6, and this is 0 and 6. So there are two possible types of distances. You have this as one distance, which is already 6, so that is eliminated. You can have this as a distance, which could be 10. In that case, x is going to be 10, right? So in that case, x is going to be 10, which means all the vertices you will have uh, you will have answer to all your vertices and if this could be 10 on the other side this could be 10 too because this is also a distance from origin to a vertice so if this is the distance from origin to a vertice if this is 10 uh, and this is x and this is 6 then this becomes a right angle triangle right so it becomes a 90 degree rat in which this is 10, this is 6, and this is x, and if you just solve for x using the Pythagoras theorem, you will get x to be 8, right? So basically, uh, 6 square plus x square is equal to 10 square, right? So 8, 6, 10 is a, is a Pythagoras rat, which is derived from 4, 3, and 5, something that we know from a right angle triangles video. So, so this is possible, right? So you can have, it's possible for x to be 10, it's possible for x to be 8, which means this is insufficient. Uh, it's either answer option B, C, or E. So we'll move on to the next statement. So next statement says that the distance between the origin and one of the vertices is eight units. So now we'll do it again. So now this distance can be eight, right? So this distance can be eight. In that case, X is going to be eight, very simple. But what if this distance is eight? Right? So then what we'll have, so if this distance is 8, this distance is already 6, let's calculate for this, then what will x be? Then x, then simply we use the Pythagoras theorem, so 8 square is 6 square plus x square, 
So 8 squared is 64 minus 36 is equal to x squared. So x squared, x is actually basically square root of 64 minus 36. Uh, so what is, what is uh, 64 minus 36? If I just try to solve for that, that's 28. So x is square root 28, which is not an integer. So that means it, not, it is not possible to have this as 8. That means the only possibility is that this is 8, which means x has to be 8. So if x has to be 8, we, get a, we have a winner here. Uh, we have only a unique value for x, which means we know the whole triangle now. It's 0, 0, 8, 0, 8, 6, and 0, 6. So we have the whole triangle, which means this is sufficient. Hence, answer option B is my answer. So I hope you understood this question, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.